Speaking of possibilities, I asked you about the possible PRX redesigns and you threw in some really crazy designs out there. In the first go around, I wanted to make something that Tiso could manufacture the very next day. But this time, I collected all of your crazy ideas and smashed them together into one crazy video. And let's see what will happen if we go all out on redesigning the PRX. Like in the last time, we'll start with the PRX Quartz model as our base image for us to build upon. One of the popular requests was to add a dive bezel on the PRX. So I looked for an angular but interesting bezel from Tiso and found it on the Super Sport Gent. After installing it on the PRX, I made the dial slightly smaller to make it more balanced and functional. Then I made the indexes bigger to ensure that it will be readable underwater. The bezel was still a bit too large for my taste and made it smaller as well to fit the PRX profile. Maybe I should have just reduced it together with the dial. I recolored it green for maximum trendiness while also adding some text at 6 and a bezel marker. And now we have the dive variant of the PRX. Now from underwater and over to the tracks, our next dream model will be a chronograph. This one will make use of the PRX chronograph automatic. You suggested a bullhead model and I thought that would be very interesting. So let's start by tilting the chrono on its side. I then added a leather strap that would go under the case. It should still retain that integrated end link. Rotating the subdials was next and it gave me the opportunity to clean it up as well. This looked like a classic chrono to me so I added that classic Tiso logo. Happy now, Mike Sheehan? Well, you better be. Lastly, we installed the gold hands and there we go, the bullhead PRX. I love this design and I would be more than happy to pay for one if it ever was produced. Now a few of you suggested other notables such as a day and date model that kinda sorta looks like a Seiko to me, a great looking world timer, and even an open heart version. That open heart was brought upon by a request from JJ's watch hangout, but then this came out. Maybe. You know what I'd love to see them do? I know this is kind of stupid, but I would love to see them do like an open heart and make it look like a turb at the six o'clock. Ooh, I think that would be really how, fun. How about, yeah, yeah, that would be cool. So let's go all out on a better skeletonized or open heart model and a tourbillon version. It's no secret, Swatch brands often share movements and parts. So let's take another Swatch brand, Blancpain, and share their build array movement to the PRX. This was such a satisfying fit that I had to just keep on working on this concept. I added a more textured bridge and plate texture. Next, I added the Tissot parts and batch. Then we capped this off with a little bit of color. Now that is an amazing open heart PRX that will definitely be limited and sell out very quickly. Now let's render that Turbion model. First, we start with an equally elegant dial. I took this Moser 7 seconds as my base surface. I then added the Tiso elements such as the brand hands and indexes. I then cut a really big hole at the 6 o'clock position for the tourbillon and added some volume to the dial here. And finally, this needs to be made in rose gold. This I think is the best spear X that you'll ever see. I'm really proud of you watch pirates out there. You came up with some crazy and beautiful ideas for the PRX. And I have no doubt if any of these were ever produced, it will be sold out the very first day. However, the sad reality is that these will never happen. You put all of us into this crazy situation. We're all now depressed because these dreams will never become a reality. It's your fault. But look at it on the bright side, you know? There's no dreams to shatter because they were never real in the first place. But it's our crazy ideas. It's the blueprint for an extreme or a number of extreme PRX.